Praise be God. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hallelujah. We thank God for the success of the first day. And here we are again on the second day. We want to thank God for all the mighty men of God that God have used to speak into our lives. Daddy Leke, uh, Sanusi all the way from London. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Daddy uh, Olawale from Nigeria. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Daddy Adeniji. Uh, Daddy Olawale from Canada. And also uh, my son, Pastor Adeniji. Thank you. It's, it's a glorious, glorious victory at last program. I know that, I know that, I know. Your life will never, ever, ever be the same in the name of Jesus. Again, we want to thank God for our Father in the Lord who is going to make a prophetic prayer over your life today. I'm excited already. I'm excited. If only the reason why I'm tuning in is for my Father to pray for me. My life is settled. I say your life is settled in the name of Jesus. There are some prayers we are going to pray today. Hallelujah. The message is going to be very short, So, but we are going to pray in the name of Jesus. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, Jehovah El Shaddai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are some people who are here tonight whose breakthrough can no longer wait. They need a divine intervention. They want the God of the redeemed Christian church of God to arise suddenly, suddenly on their behalf. Because we are going to engage in a serious warfare today. And I know that, I know that, I know. The Bible says from the days of John the Baptist, even until now, the kingdom of God suffers violence. And the violent take it by force. Please don't let anybody distract you. This is the final day. The way you pray today, the way you communicate today, the, the, the fervor in your prayer today determines what is going to happen to you for the rest of this year in the name of Jesus. Wherever you may be, stand on your feet, stand on your feet. We are going to pray three powerful prayers before we go to the message. And throughout the message also, we are going to be praying along. You are going to say, my father, my father, my father, my father, I decree and I declare the power of stagnation, the power of limitation, the power of being disappointment. You are a liar. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You power of stagnation. You power of limitation. You power of disappointment in the name of Jesus. I say you are a liar by the power in the blood of Jesus. Die. 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 Die, 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 die. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer right now, right now. Pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be stagnant. I refuse to slow down. In the name of Jesus. I refuse to be delayed. I refuse to be delayed. You disappointment, you stagnation, you limitation. You are not mine. In the name of Jesus. Carry your load, carry your load, carry your load. Carry your load. Get out by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. You are going to say, my father, my father. It is written, every tree that God has not planted shall be uprooted. You are going to say, my father, my father, every tree of failure in my family die now in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Every tree of failure, every tree of failure, every tree of failure in my family line, in the life of my children, in my wife, in my husband, you tree of failure, I set you on fire in 20 21 James Father will not fail in the name of Jesus. Redeem North America will not fail in the name of Jesus. I will not disappoint destiny in the name of Jesus. Every tree of failure, every tree of failure, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. The last one you are going to pray, you are going to stand up and you are going to be clapping your hand as you pray that prayer. I'm going to say, my father, my father, every satanic roadblock, clear away in the name of Jesus. You satanic roadblock on my way of financial breakthrough. You satanic roadblock on my way of my spiritual progress. You satanic gateway in the name of Jesus. Satanic roadblock. Clear away. Begin to clap your hand. Begin to decree by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. I say by fire, by fire. You satanic roadblock in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare you are not a part of me. Let the road begin to be clear. In 2021, as I progress in the name of Jesus, as I receive restoration, as I receive total recovery, every satanic roadblock begin to clear, begin to clear, begin to clear, begin to clear by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed on this altar in the name of Jesus. Every evil hand that has been laid upon you Every evil hand that has been pointed against you, I cut those hands off in the name of Jesus. I decree those hands, those evil hands, they will dry up. I say they will dry up. I say they will dry up. I say the God of Adeboye will dry them up in the name of Jesus. A breakthrough that surpasses explanation. Breakthrough shall begin to manifest in your life. This year is your year. You will never have a better last year in the name of Jesus. The God of the redeemed Christian church of God will begin to take you from glory to glory. From favor to favor. Victory galore. Victory at last. Victory every day victory every moment it's your portion in the name of jesus 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 in jesus mighty name we have prayed deuteronomy 28 verse 2 deuteronomy 28 verse 2 it says and all this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you if you will hearken unto the voice of the lord your god the grace to hacking, the grace to obey, the grace to pursue God, the grace to be a man of God, the grace to be a woman of God. Receive this night in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and every prophetic blessings all the men of God has pronounced over your life, over my life, over the church. They shall find fulfillment speedily, quickly, in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The title of the message tonight is Secret of Maintaining Victory, Divine Victory accelerated victory, progressive victory, 20 to 21. What are the secrets? Turn with me to the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, 10 to 12. It says, finally, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Verse 12. It says, for we wrestle not. We are still wrestling. He said, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we are wrestling against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickednesses in the high places. The Lord told Joshua, there are more lands and territories for you to conquer. Similarly, there are more grounds to cover until Christ's image is formed in us. They are receiving some battles to fight in North America. Our Father in the Lord, every time we go to Him, we tell Him, Ah, we planted this much church. We plant this much church. He will just look at us and say, Hmm, that's all you did. The best is here to come. You can do more. You can do more. At times I scratch my, can we ever please this man? Because there are many territories we are yet to cover. We are going to cover them in the name of Jesus. Therefore, this January, this January, the Lord want to teach us strategies and the secrets of maintaining a victory so that you don't become ex-champion. Uh, my father and the Lord used to say, when you are number one, do you know that people don't pray for you? So that you don't become an ex-champion. So that somebody does not replace you. There are some strategies you must put in place. You remember 
that we are not fighting for victory. Jesus already finished that work at Calvary. In John chapter 19 verse 30, John 19 verse 30, he said, it is finished. It is done, signed, sealed, and delivered. However, we need to battle. But with a different perspective. We are not fighting for victory. We are fighting in victory. We are not fighting for, uh, but we are fighting to claim territories that God has given to us. The scripture says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Now does it enter into the heart of any man what God has prepared for them that love him. There is a prepared blessing for you, but the question is, are you prepared for the prepared blessing? In verse 12, in that Ephesians chapter 10, it says emphasis is contending with the rulers of powers, forces of dark places, forces of darkness. There are four principal, four principal forces we are going to be contending with. Number one, the invisible spiritual realm, places where the invisible dark forces of darkness, spiritual, they congregate and make decisions on the fate of the son of man. Invisible spiritual realm. Number one, invisible spiritual realm. We are going to address them in Job chapter 1, verse 11 and 12. It says, touch all that he had and it will cause you to, the, to your face. And all that he had is in your power. This is Satan talking to God. There are spiritual invisible realm wanting to interfere with your life. The Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against the invisible spiritual realm forces, against principalities, against powers, against spiritual darknesses in the high places. In Mark 4.37, he says, there arose a great storm. Do you know that the Prince of Peace was in that boat? Do you know, sir? God have not arose. God was just there sleeping tired. He says, and there arose a great storm. Or the wind beat into the ship so that it is now full. The territorial powers want to take over the ship that Jesus Christ was. And the disciple they besought him and says, careless not doubt that we perish. And Jesus says, peace be still. There will be peace in your life in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray this prayer and say, my father, my father. My father, my father, every siege from the spiritual invisible realm, every negative spiritual realm, the invisible power fighting over my life, fighting against my destiny in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare the siege over my life is broken today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every territorial demon, every territorial power fighting against you from the invisible realm. Say expire. Say expire. Say expire. Say expire. Say expire. Say expire. Every spiritual territorial demon trying to take over your life, trying to take over your heart, trying to take over your head, trying to take over your family. I say every spiritual power expire now in the name of Jesus. Number two, there is what you call the physical. Visible spiritual realm. There is the spiritual unseen realm. There's what you call the physical visible spiritual realm. These are places where a joint assembly of humans and evil spirits perform their diabolical operations. For example, in the dark or in the grave site and so on, they congregate. They, they are called covens. The human members, they project themselves out of the body to determine what happens to other people who are not members of their covens. The operations of witches and wizards, they take place in the visible spiritual realm. You are going to say, my father, my father. There is an example in Exodus 20. He says, and the Lord said unto Moses, Exodus chapter 8 verse 20, rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh. For lo, he cometh to the waters. He's going to the waters to go and fetch power. And say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Let my people go that they may serve me. I decree and I declare to COVID-19, Let the people go. Let the church go. That they may serve the almighty God. In the name of Jesus. You are going to say, My father, my father, Every siege against my life, Every siege against my church, 
every siege against my nation in the name of determining from the physical spiritual realm covens of witches and wizards as I come today by fire, by fire, by the blood of Jesus. I scatter you now in the name of Jesus. Break your hold. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. In the name of Jesus. Every power that is giving the enemy's confidence. I bury you now in the blood of Jesus. Every power, no matter where they may come, that is giving the enemy confidence against your life, I bury you in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter where they are from. It doesn't matter where they are getting their power. Die in the name of Jesus. Number three, number three forces that you are fighting against. Remember, number one is what? The invisible spiritual realm. Number two, number two is the physical spiritual realm. Number three, number three is the visible physical realm. This is illustrated by one person saying to the other, I am behind your problem. And as long as I remain in in this office, you ain't going to be promoted. You are going to sit on that seat until they fire you. These are people talking like this. These types of people have become physical human hindrances to the fulfillment of other people's destiny. For as many as are faced with these circumstances, like this, we pray in the name of Jesus, the Almighty God, the God of my father, Adeboye, we break their backbone in the name of Jesus. In the life of Apostle Paul, in Acts of the Apostle, chapter 23, verse 12, Acts 23, verse 12, he says, when it was day, some of the Jews, they bounded themselves together and bound themselves under an oath, saying, they will neither eat nor drink until they kill Paul. Everybody that have bound themselves under an oath, they says you will not manifest. That says you will not progress. That says you everything that the enemy has told you will not be restored. I decree and I declare, fire will silence them. I say fire of God will silence them. In the name of Jesus. Galatians chapter 5 verse 10 says, I have confidence in you through the Lord. That you will be not otherwise minded. That he that troubleth you shall bear judgment of the Almighty, whosoever they may be. And Galatians chapter 1 verse 13. Galatians 1 13 says, For you have heard of my conversation in the time past, in the Jews' religion, how that beyond measure I was persecuted of God and wasted it. Ah! Everybody trying to waste you. Every waster shall be wasted in the name of Jesus. I say every waster, every troubler of your Israel, they shall be troubled in the name of Jesus. Number four, number four now, number four. Number four is the invisible spiritual, invisible physical realm. Invisible physical realm. This is defined by an enemy that pretends to be a friend. They are what you call frenemy, frenemy. They are friends, but they are enemies. Number four, number four. They say they bring about one's downfall. This person will be so close to you, so close to you. Amen. Discussing your progress with you, but at your back, they turn against you. They, we call them frenemy, frenemy. It is, they are not wanting your progress. They don't want you to go forward. They always want you to be moving backward. Joseph brothers in Genesis chapter 37 verse 20. Genesis 37 verse 20. He says, come now therefore let us slay him and cast him out in the pit. And we say, some evil beasts have devoured him and we shall see what shall become of his dreams. Ah! Brothers, sisters, ganging up against a child of God. You know, I never knew an enemy until I came to church. <laughs> I thought everybody was peaceful. You know, I never knew I was black until I came to America. You know, I was in my engineering classes. And uh, one guy looked at me after the class. He said, Don't you know you are black? And I look at myself. I say, oh, I, I never thought I was black. I never knew I was black until I came to America. All those who are ganging up against you, especially those who are close, I decree and I declare. In their presence, your glory will shine. 
In their presence, your star will shine in the name of Jesus. Wickedness in the house of God. They will tell you, we are lawyer, we are lawyer. But at your back, they are planning, they are planning for your downfall. They are trying to backstab you. It ain't going to happen. It will not stand in the name of Jesus. Somebody will call me, chairman, chairman. You, you are, you know, it, that's what some people say. They say, chairman, sir. I, I say, yes, sir. He said, do you know that you have very few friends? I said, why? He said, the people are close to you. They are the people who are talking bad against you. I say, I know. But as long as I'm on the Lord's side, the Lord will silence every enemy. Every enemy of your destiny. They shall be silenced in the name of Jesus. You eat together. You drink together. You sleep together. But they are wishing you evil. God will silence them. In their face, they will promote you in the name of Jesus. You are going to say, my father, my father. Every siege over my life, in the name of Jesus, destroy them. Silence them. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' matchless name we have prayed. Quickly, we are going to run to you 12 strategies, 12, 12, 12 strategies that you must have in maintaining your victory. Number one, number one, you must know that victory is not based on performance, but on your union with Christ. Victory is not based on your performance. We are not strong in and of ourselves. Rather, our strength lies in the union with the Holy Spirit. Jesus paid it all. All to him we owe. It is in him we live and move and have our being. Acts chapter 17 verse 28. For Christ in you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Colossians 1.23 We therefore need to be strong in the Lord. Let's say it together. Be strong in the Lord. Not of yourself. Because it's not of him that will it, nor of him that pray it, nor of him that desire it. It's of God that showed mercy. So number one, be Christ. What? Base. It's not based on performance, but on your union with Christ. Number two, number two now, maintaining the victory that Jesus Christ already obtained at Calvary. You must maintain that victory. Warfare is all about maintaining the victories Jesus Christ has purchased for you at Calvary. What victories? You might ask to mention for you, he obtained healing for you. Exodus 15, 25, 26. He says, for by his stripes you were healed. Hallelujah. He says, none of you shall be barren. He said, the number of your days will fulfill. Deliverance. Genesis chapter 14, verse 20. Prosperity. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. He says, so that you can become rich. He became poor. Ah, your prosperity is already paid. You must maintain that victory. You cannot obtain and knew what Jesus Christ already obtained for you at Calvary. Let me illustrate this. Many of you go to the convenience store to purchase an item. That item is already, is already manufactured. It's already on the shelf. It is not being manufactured the day you go to the store. It's already there waiting for transaction. Once that transaction has been made, you can walk out of that store with the right of ownership. After you pay the price. In like manner, what God grace has made available for us is only waiting for a trans- transaction. That can be as simple as saying, thank you Jesus, the lover of my soul. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus, for my salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for my healing. Thank you, Jesus. I receive my healing. I receive my breakthrough. According to your word, I shall go out with joy. I shall be lifted up in the name of Jesus. I shall be left for with decree the word, decree the word into your life in the name of Jesus. Number one is what? Number one, victory is not based on performance, but based on the union with Christ. Number two, maintain the victory that Jesus already obtained at Calvary by reciting the word, by quoting the word. Joshua was afraid. And God told him, Joshua, Joshua, slow down, chill. This word of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth. You must meditate on it day in and day out. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. Meditate on the word. Eat the word. Quote the word. Believe the word. That's number two. Number three. Number three now. 
You must submit to God. We are going to 12. Number three is what submit to God. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty true God to the pulling down of strongholds. You really cannot afford not to believe what the blood of Jesus has done for you because the spiritual forces are fighting. Amen. They would like to eat your lunch otherwise. You are going to say, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, I submit myself to God. I win every battle hands down because Jesus already purchased for me at Calvary. Number four, a heart for God. When you are sold out to God, you can dare anything. Like the three Hebrew boys. When you are sold out, Listen again, when your heart is in tune with heaven, when you are sold out to God, you can dare anything. Like the three Hebrew children, in Daniel chapter 3 verse 16, they says, it says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer you on this matter. Hallelujah. That is the dear the king. Because their heart is for God. With a heart for God, you are not connected to be afraid or to run. You will not run from the enemy. You are, God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. Number five now, a voice of God. A voice of God. They say those who know the voice of God, those who know they are God, they shall be strong and do exploit. Those who know the voice of God can dare anything when they hear from God. In First Kings chapter 19, First Kings chapter 19, verse 11 to 13, God chose not to speak to Elijah through the wind, through the storm, or through an earthquake. He did not speak through fire. But only through a small, still voice. Small, still. There must be a time you tune everybody out. Silence your phone. Silence your TV. Silence everybody. And you and you alone with God. And with a still, small voice, he will direct you. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 15 says, In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. For instance... When some scientists we are they, 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 you know some scientists we are giving reference to Newton's law and its discoveries than any other active scientist, Newton has a unique ability, ability to hide himself in his room and will not always talk. He goes to a meeting, he just keep quiet, he just be looking at you. What a strange man. He learned to listen. Sometimes opportunity disguises itself in Overall, amen. He knocks, opportunity knocks very softly. It is only those who have the ears that hears that can listen. Remember, silence is a friend who will never, never, never betray you. Once in a while, zip it, zip it. My father and the Lord came and spoke to all his children. I'm one of them. He says, God said, we are going to build three by three kilometers arena. And he said, it's going to be over there. Ah, come and see me. Oh. People start to say, ha, ah, what's going to happen? Who is going to inherit it? Who is going to fill the place? But one thing I know about my father and the Lord that I'm so proud of and I'm so excited about is, once he hears from God, it doesn't matter who followed him, who doesn't follow him. Sink or swim, he will go with God. Please, I beg you, sir, learn to listen like my father. Learn to seek the voice of God. Learn to listen. Hallelujah. And guess what? Once you are committed, once God has spoken, the equation is settled. He will build it. Three by three kilometers has happened. Amen. The, the old auditorium that we are afraid as not full, every time we have program now is full. Even in the pandemic, that auditorium was full. The three by three kilometer is full because there is a man who learned to listen to what God says, not what man. Please, in this year 2021, silence every voice. Tarry in the presence of God. Learn to hear for God yourself. And once that is done, guaranteed, every day, you win your battle in the name of Jesus. Number six, number six, you must delight yourself in the word of God. You must delight yourself in the Lord. Amen. 
Peter toiled all night. Peter toiled all night and caught nothing. Luke chapter 5, verse 4 to 5. He says, now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your net for a drought. And Simon answered, Master, we have taught all night and we have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word. Nevertheless, at thy word. Nevertheless, at thy word. Let the light of the word fire up your faith. I repeat, let the fire in the word of God fire up your faith. When light comes into the world, it fires up your faith and you become unstoppable. There is no mountain you cannot cross. There is no river you cannot cross. There is no valley, amen, that cannot be filled. When you hear the word of God, Please delight yourself in the word. Read the word. Meditate on the word. Obey the word. Quote the word. When you are praying, meditate on the word. The, the, the church I pastor in Dallas, New Life Church, there is a task. 30 days, every day, memorize the word. When you want to pray, it's not your grammar. Your grammar is inconsequential. It doesn't matter what language. But when you are praying, you pray the word. God answers by fire. You can see the testimonies on the New Year's Day. We, we even have to have extra time for testimony because what? It is the word. It is the word. It is the word that performs miracle. Miracle will happen in your life. Learn this year, sir, ma, to make sure you meditate on the word, quote the word, obey the word, eat the word. This word of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth. You must meditate on it day in and day out for therein lies your success. Number seven now, we are giving you strategies of making sure you maintain your, 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 your victory. Number seven, the wine of the spirit, wine of the spirit. Genesis chapter 49 verse 12 says concerning Judah, his eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with milk. When the wine of the spirit is upon you, it will ignite you like an engine. Jude chapter 1 verse 20 says, building up yourself in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Father, in the name of Jesus, on this altar, this night, O God, I decree and I declare, baptize your people with fire, fresh fire, from the throne room of the Almighty. Receive your fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. In the name of Jesus. Obadiah 1.18 says, And the house of Jacob shall be fire. And the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau shall be a stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining in the house of Esau. For the Lord has spoken it. This year, sir, this year, sir, guaranteed, there is going to be total restoration, total recovery. You are going to fly high in the name of Jesus. You are going to rejoice in hope, patient in tribulation, constant in praying, serving the Almighty God. That shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. Number eight, number eight, number eight now. You must spend time with the master. Time of waiting, time of communion, time of relationship. Act of the Apostles chapter 4 verse 13 says, Acts chapter 4 verse 13. It says, when they beheld the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with the master. They had been with Jesus. Association brings you into assimilation. I repeat, association with the master brings you in assimilation with the things of the spirit. There is something with God that he wants to fill you with. But how can you get it? You must only get it in the time of the master. I have made up my mind now, three days to the end of the month, I'm going to seclude myself. I want to seek the face of God like my father. Anytime there is Holy Ghost service, you won't hear from him. Three days. It's in seclusion. No one there comes and say, somebody shout hallelujah and there is miracle. That kind of miracle must happen in my life. That kind of miracle must happen in America. It will happen in the name of Jesus. That can only happen when you can spend time with the master. Put your ears to his chest and say, God, what are you saying? What do you want me to tell your people? So it shall be in the name of Jesus. We are saying number, number nine now out of twelve. Number nine, number nine, prayers and fasting. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. 
Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and he ended with prayer. Prayer is the master's key. The potency of praying is to divinely empower a man to pursue his pursuers, to overtake them, recover all that has been stolen and taken away from his life. No wonder James chapter 5 verse 16 says, confess your fault one to another. Pray for one another that you may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. Number 10, following the faith of those who have it. You have a leader, you have a mentor in the Lord who is fired up in the spirit. Follow him. Do what he does. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 12 says that you be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. Find fathers of faith and follow them. Do what they do. Amen. Number 11, righteous living. The wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous is as bold as a lion. You must live holy. Who we are sent to the hill of the Lord? Who we go to his holy temple? He that has a clean hand and a pure heart. God is looking for those people and God is going to use them mightily in the name of Jesus. Laugh but not the least. Thanksgiving, praise, worship the almighty God. Example is Joshua. Amen. In Joshua chapter 6 verse 16, when the wall of Jericho fell, they danced, they rejoiced, they praised the Lord. Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16, 25 to 26, when the wall of Jericho, when, 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 when they were shaken in prison, they rejoiced and praised the Lord. They are rejoicing and praised God. Make God to stood up and began to dance. And when God began to dance, the prison doors were shaken and they set them free. I decree and I declare, as you worship God, as you magnify God this day, this year, this season, I decree and I declare every shackles on your hand, in your body, in your system, in your government, in your, in, in your country, those shackles shall be broken off in the name of Jesus. I prophesy a release of aggressive faith, violent faith, same faith as that of my father. Receive now, receive now, receive now, receive now, receive now, receive now. I say receive now in the name of Jesus. You are going to raise up here and say, my father, my father, I thank you. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your power. I thank you because you died for me. You, you, you rose again the third day in the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, for this great opportunity in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are going to speak and say, my father, my father, my legs hear the word of God. From January to December, you shall dance. You, ca- you are going to carry me through breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. I shall live in abundance in the name of Jesus. My feet, my feet, my feet, my feet. Hear the voice of God. You will carry me. You will take me to the place of promotion, to the place of joy, to the place of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. According to Deuteronomy 33, 24, you are going to pray. I hereby, I hereby dip my my feet in oil after the order of Asher in the name of Jesus. I shall flourish like the palm tree in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 91 verse 12. I shall flourish. I shall flourish. I shall flourish. I shall dip my feet in oil after the order of Asher in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough upon breakthrough in the name of Jesus. We are going to plant churches. We are going to have mega churches in the name of Jesus. Money will come. People will come. People after God. People that are going to heaven. They will flow into churches in the name of Jesus. Revival will break out in America. Revival will break out in the Americas. Revival will break out all over the world. The God of Adeboe in the name of Jesus shall be glorified. Every iron gate leading to the city of my breakthrough, to the city of my celebration, to the city of my victory, to the city of my laughter. What are you waiting for? Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now to the city of my breakthrough in the name of Jesus. You iron gate, begin to open, begin to open, begin to open, begin to open, begin to thank God for answer prayers, begin to bless him, begin to honor him, begin to clap for him, begin to rejoice in him, begin to magnify him. Victory, victory, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Victory, victory, hallelujah. Jesus conquered the devil. Pata, pata. The Lord has given me victory. I will lift him higher. Jehovah, I will lift him higher. I say Jesus has given us victory. We shall lift him higher. Jehovah, we shall lift him higher. Begin to bless God for answer prayers. Begin to magnify him for answer prayers. This is going to be the best prayer conference we've had in the name of Jesus. Victory at last. Begin to declare it in the name of Jesus. Victory at last. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Please don't rush. There's going to be an anointing service. I'm going to declare some prophetic prayers over your life after the anointing service. And after that, my father in the Lord, the general overseer of the redeemed Christian church of God, is going to make a pronouncement to your life. Please don't rush. Don't just, just calm. Just chill. Tell your neighbor, say chill, chill, chill. They have still time. They have still time in the presence of God. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. By the special grace of God, it's now time for the anointing service. Every year we have this prayer conference. We normally have an anointing service. Even though it is virtually, the anointing is still powerful enough because he sent his word. It doesn't matter what medium it is and his word healed them and delivered them from all their infirmities. And the anointing service for today is the anointing for speed. Anointing for speed. Let's say it together. Anointing for speed. Second Samuel chapter 1 verse 23 says, Second Samuel 1 23, it says, Saul and Jonathan, we are beloved and pleasant in their lives. And in their death, they were not divided. They were swifter than eagles. They were stronger than lions. Lions are very strong. And eagles, fast the, both of them, both Saul and Jonathan, they were known for their strength and their speed. They were snipers in the spirit, strikers, fast and strong. The sword of Jonathan performed valiantly. They are men of spiritual warfare. As we have said, you know, our Father in the Lord already declared that this is the year that is time to fly. And, and we look at the eagle. The eagle is a very, very swift bird. It dives at a speed of 150 miles per hour, especially the golden eagle. It's never sluggish, never lackadaisical, never slowing down, never slow down, never procrastinate. It's never caught by indecisions. Because otherwise, if it's diving at that speed, if it's undecided, that's the end of, of, of that eagle. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare, the anointing you are going to receive today, we give you swiftness. We give you speed. In the name of Jesus, speed is necessary. If you want to get to where you want to go to on time, like when you are traveling to Houston, you have a choice. You can either walk, you can either trek from Dallas to Houston. It's going to take you days. Or you can ride your bicycle. Or you can ride a motorcycle if you are willing to deal with all the cold. Or you can drive with all the dangers therein. But every drive you are going to drive this year, you are going to arrive at your destination safely. But the best way is to fly. Because by the time you fly, especially if you are flying in business class, amen, you get inside the plane, you take off your jacket, they give you some peanuts and some, you know, Kool-Aid or some tea or some uh, or, or, or some Sprite to do. Gently, swiftly, you arrive at your destination. I decree and I declare, as you fly by the reason of the anointing this year, swiftly, quickly, speedily, you will get to your destination in the name of Jesus. First Samuel chapter 21 verse 8 says, And David said to Ahimelech, And is there not here under thy hand a spear or a sword? For I have neither bought me a sword, nor my weapons with me, because the king's business requires what? Haste. The king's business, king's business, the work that we are going to do for the Lord this year requires haste. We must win people for the kingdom. The church of God must be built. People must return to church. 
evangelism must be done passionately. We must build the kingdom. We must plant more churches. We must win more souls. We can no longer slow down. We can no longer be lackadaisical. We can no longer be sluggish. We have to do it and we have to do it swiftly on this altar. By the reason of this anointing, I decree and I declare the anointing for speed, the anointing for swiftness of an eagle, strength of a lion, God will give to you in the name of Jesus. You remember I First Kings chapter 18 verse 46. First Kings 18 46. It says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he gathered up his loins, and he ran ahead of Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. By the reason of this anointing today, be getting ready, be getting ready, get your elements together. The hand of the Lord shall be upon you. You are going to outrun your competitors. You are going to outrun your contemporaries unto the entrance of your promised land. The land that flows with milk and honey. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This is God's promise. As you are running ahead, swiftly and with speed, according to Isaiah 45, verse 2. Isaiah 45 verse 2. He says, I will go before you and every crooked place shall be made straight. Every valley shall be made plain and every mountain shall be brought low. I decree that anointing for swiftness in the name of Jesus. The spiritual operation is swift speed. Swift speed. I call it the anointing for Jehu. The anointing for Jehu. God instructs Elijah. Elijah in First Kings 19, 15 to 18. Then the Lord said, Go, return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus. And when you arrive, anoint Azariel, Aziel as king over Syria. Also anoint Jehu. The son of Nishmi as the king of Israel. And Elisha, the son of Shaphat of Abel, Mehola, you will anoint as a prophet in your place. Do you know, sir, Elijah was only able to complete two anoint assignments. He anointed Azrael, he anointed Elijah. But guess what? Jehu was nowhere to be found. For 30 years, that promise was never fulfilled. He was serving under another king. He was a king serving as a servant. But 30 years later, Elisha, that took the place of Elijah, said to his servant, I have located where Jehu is. Now, this is the instruction. When, take this oil, run as you can. When you find him, then they open the door, pour the oil on him, and immediately, when you anoint him, run like crazy. Run! And guess what? The servant saw him. Amen? And he went there, he located Jehu, and he poured the oil on him. And Second Kings chapter 9, verse 20, Second 9, 20, he said, the watchman reported saying, he went to them and is coming back. And the driving is like the driving of Jehu, the son of Nimshi, who drives furiously, the anointing to be furious in the things of God. Speed, the king's business, the man his. I want you to stand up right now in the name of Jesus and begin to raise up your hand and say, my father, my father, the anointing can no longer wait. I can't wait for 30 years. I can't wait for a week. Today, 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 oh God, in the name of Jesus. I, this oil I lifted up. I decree and I declare by the prophetic anointing of God over my life. I release the anointing for speed over your life now in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Receive that anointing, receive that anointing in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Take your oil right now, take your oil right now, take your oil right now in the name of Jesus. You are going to anoint your household, you are going to anoint your wife, you are going to anoint your children in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of Jesus. Let them come forward, let them come forward. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. By the Holy Ghost and fire, just as the prophet spake. This is the day of the latter rain. God is moving in his power again. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. It's not by might, it's not by might. It's not by power, it's not by power. By my spirit, says the Lord. 
It's not by might, it's not by might, it's not by power, it's not by power, by my spirit, praise the Lord. My mountain has been removed. We are going to pray now. My mountain has been removed in Jesus' name. This mountain has been removed by my spirit. Praise the Lord. Raise up and say, my father, my father, the anointing for Jehu, the anointing for speed, express speed, I receive tonight, I receive tonight, I receive tonight, I receive tonight. Begin to receive the anointing. Begin to receive the anointing. Let the anointing begin to speak in the name of Jesus. The anointing that spoke for Jehu, that made him to drive furiously in the name of Jesus. Swiftness of an ego, Receive right now. Receive right now. My father, my father. My father, my father. On the things of God. On the things of God. On the passion for God. On the heart for God. I receive sweetness. I receive swiftness. I receive speed. Receive right now. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I reject backward movement. I reject. I receive progressive movement. Movement with speed. Movement with speed. Movement with speed. Every spirit of lackadaisical work. Every spirit of lazy work. Every sluggish work in the work of God. I cancel. I annihilate. I reject now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fire of God. Fire of God. Locate me. Locate my bones. Locate my life. Locate my ministry. Locate my life. Fire. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Keep it to repeat. Keep, begin to repeat that. Begin to repeat that. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Every desire. Let the fire fall. Every desire for God. Let the fire fall. Every assignment for God. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Decree and declare right now. In the name of Jesus. Over your life. Over your home. Over your children. The desire to love God. Desire to do the will of God. Desire to live holy. Desire to live righteously. In the name of Jesus. He said because you love righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore God thy God has anointed thee with the oil of gladness. I receive the oil of gladness above my fellow. The power to love righteousness. The power to hate iniquity. Receive now. I say receive now. I say receive now. Receive now. Receive now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say my father, my father. I shall be the first. I shall not be the last. In the name of Jesus. I shall work for you. My feet will work for you. My eyes will work. Everything that I have will begin to use for the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say my father, my father, I will break records for the number of people I bring to church. For the number of souls I'm going to win. For the number of churches I'm going to build for God. I am going to break records this year. In the name of Jesus. In my church, they will know that I'm a lover of God. That I'm a lover of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My head will not lack oil. In the name of Jesus. 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 Come by fire. Come by sword. Come by fire. Come by sword. Come by fire. Come by sword. Fight my battles for me. Hallelujah. Come by fire. Come by sword. Come by fire, come by sword. Come by fire, come by sword. Fight my battle. Sing that song, sing that song. Sing it as if you mean it. Because the anointing will begin to fight your battles for you now. By fire, by fire. Come by fire, come by force. Come by fire, come by force. Fight my battles for me. Fight my battles for me. Fight my battles for me. In the name of Jesus. 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 I want you to be quiet right now. Be quiet. Be quiet. Kasoko rema makasakaya. Rema kasaka rama kusoko kuyimara kakayeke ye. Rema kasa kuma ye kara kakaseke ke ye barabakasa. Mare kakasa kaye ke kere kaya bakoko sakaya kara. I decree and I declare. 
every evil hand that is raised against you to uproot you from the things of God. In the name of Jesus, I decree that hand will dry up now. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare every mark of hatred in your life that make people to bypass you when it is your turn to be promoted. I decree and I declare that mark is taken off by the blood of Jesus, 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 by the blood of Jesus. I stand on this altar. Every spirit of Herodias dancing to cut off your finances, dancing to cut off your health, dancing to cut off your destiny, I decree and I declare by the power in the blood of Jesus, I Cut the power off in the name of Jesus. It is your year. It is your year. Your glory will appear. Your glory will shine. In your star will shine in the name of Jesus. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. It is your time. It's your season. It is your time. It is your season. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every man that is ordained for your blessing, for your blessing, they shall appear. They shall appear. They are appearing. They are appearing. I say they are appearing. I say they are appearing. I say they are appearing in the name of Jesus. Every garment of shame. Every garment of reproach, every garment of disgrace, I tore it off your back by the blood of Jesus. Go and celebrate Jesus. Go and magnify Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to thank him for answer prayers. Begin to thank him for answer prayers. The mercy of God will begin to speak for you. The mercy of God will begin to speak for you right now, right now. I can see everything turning around, turning around. Turning around for your good. I can see everything turning around. Turning around, turning around for your good. We can see everything turning around. Turning around, turning around for your good. So I decree, so I declare in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' matchless name we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Congratulations. I'll be hearing your testimonies. Please cheer. Please cheer. My father and the Lord is still coming. He's still coming. He's still coming. Be ready to receive that final prayer for him in the name of Jesus. God bless you. We love you. And we'll see you next year. Physically, the pandemic will be over. And I know that I know that I know. We are going to be quadrupled. Ten times more in number when we meet January 2022. If Jesus tarries in Jesus' name. We love you. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. I want to thank God for Pastor Adeniji and all the prayer team. These are my pillars. These are my people that have been praying for me throughout the year. We meet secretly and we pray. God bless you, sir. God will reward you. God will remember your labor of love. You will never fail. You will never fall. Your biological children will be greater than you. Pastor Adeniji, I love you. I love your family. Thank you. Thank you for all you do for the prayer department. You are the best. It is well with your soul. It is well with the prayer ministry. It is well with the prayer department. In Jesus' much less name we have prayed. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.